Wow, it's been an action-packed trip. And these communities, in my mind and in my heart, and Glenn, we both actually did this together. When we wrote our proposal in 2003, we had nine communities, nine communities. right? And really... And went from one community in Mokaria to now three with Taikomi and Yamiwato. And the success, right, that's, that there's so many that would... Ben benefit from it, yeah. Right, benefit and want the services. And that's, we just visited a community called Shipetiari, and they presented me to one of, the, uh, one of the community members, and he says, I've heard of you. <laughs> and that's always beautiful. So this is a day in the life of building clean water projects. It's generational change, Glenn. It's long-term. It's staying with the people as they integrate these changes into everyday life, right? And as we've seen in the, the, the government projects you see around water projects, they'll just go build some structure and abandon it. And there's no follow-up, there's no social training. And it's that, it's that added investment in, it's not just building a tank and building a water system, it's building it and then training the people over years to make sure that, that they know how to run it themselves that makes right. the difference. Right, it is, what's, and that's where the investment comes in, correct? So we're excited about uh, launching our Global Teaching, Learning, and Training Center and using these, these projects to train additional people so we can put um, more, how do you say, more? Mul well, sort of multiply. We've got three villages where it's working, five plus years, five to 15 years of experience. Mm -hmm. the, the water systems have been sort of fine-tuned to the local needs and context. The, the local village committee members have been trained. And so now the idea is to take those three model villages and, and sort of multiply that, you know, 10, 20 fold by inviting other villages to come and learn the technology and the, and the monitoring systems. And each, each village teaches the next village, right? The right. people from, as one village learns, they go on and teach the next. And we're excited because Glenn is from uh, living in Brazil and working with tribes in Brazil, and he wants to bring... Um, bring the Brazilian people, different Brazilian indigenous peoples to the teaching and, and training center and take this technology back to Brazil now, hopefully. Right, so we can create this powerful indigenous network of, of change and improved health and well-being. So this is exciting, and thanks for following. There'll be more to come in the days ahead. Bye-bye from this magnificent Manu Biosphere Reserve. Show the, show the mount, the, the ridge behind us. It's beautiful. Yeah. Wow.